there I am, glancing through. I blasted through the new season of The Jinx, which is fucking unbelievable on HBO. One of my favorite murder documentaries ever, with the crazy-ass Robert Durst. And then there I am, just, yep, nothing. Here we go, re-watching The Sopranos for the 5,000th time. And it's every fucking time better than the last. It's unbelievable. There's so many things that I still am like, oh my God, I never noticed that. Well, it's also one of those shows that, you know, so many things happened, you can go back and watch it again. Mm -hmm. And the acting's absolutely insane. Gandolfini in his prime, Lorraine oh. Bracco in her prime, yeah. Edie Falco, it steals it yeah. somehow. The, yeah. the mom steals it. There's times where she can... can but Edie Falco's not the mom. She's, she's Soprano's wife. Yeah, that's yeah. No, that's what I meant. Yeah, the mom I'm talking that about died? the kids' mom. Remember yeah, the mom died and they replaced her with CGI and it looked really fake. Yeah, <laughs> that part's crazy. I that's the episode that I watched the other night. I was just they going to Leon. Never did that. Season three, episode one or two, I think. They yeah. should redo that like they redid Star Wars. Yeah, you know, yeah. You, know the, you know how they redid like Yoda. They made Yoda CGI, yeah. which they fucked it up. Yeah. But they should do that with uh, the mom. It wasn't that bad. It was bad. It's it, not. It was, look, it's not that it terrible. So fake. It just looks fake compared to them. There was something about her head moved weird. It, it's coming up. There's a part where she reacts. Because so, that, that part. That part. Yeah. Fucking nothing. Now look here. I don't like that kind of talk. Like her head's not moving. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Her head's frozen. It didn't look as fake as I remembered. Right. It's like a deep fake back then. That was as good as it gets. That probably cost a million dollars to do. Yeah. Who knows what that cost? Yeah. But why did they do that? Why didn't they just have her, we found out she's dead? Um, why because, don't they just get a phone call? Because they had to put one last bit of closure on it right there. They find out that she never filled out the books that uh, Carmela, his wife, got her for the kids because she felt guilty uh, or she felt like no one will read my book. So it's one last her unloading her guilt. She dies that episode. She dies right after that. He goes out, smokes a cigar by the pool, comes in. The kids and his wife are there. And he's like, what's going on? Your mom passed away. Mm. And so then, oh, God. And the, I mean, it's just crazy how, they, I mean, this series changed everything. It still changed doesn't TV. get the, totally changed TV. Yeah. Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, yep. Fargo, yep. all these great series that came after it would not have happened if it wasn't for David Chase and The Sopranos. I, I agree. Yeah. It, it, changed, it changed what was possible because it became an enormous movie. Instead of it being a show where they wrap up, wrap up the story each week, everything ties into the next episode. You're glued to your seat. You can't wait for Sunday, like yep. when, whenever it was. Yeah. You're like, was it Sunday? Yeah. You're like, when is Sunday coming around? Oh, my God. I and mean, it was the first show that people were just absolutely riveted and addicted to. And it was about a guy who was a murderer. Yep. And somehow or another, you're rooting for the murderer. Yep. He was mean. Yeah. He killed his friend. Like, there's a lot of crazy shit, and yeah. he's, he's still the good guy. Kills his own cousins. Yeah. Two of the main characters, Steve Buscemi and Michael Imperioli. Yeah. Um, Spoiler alert. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> The uh, Christopher Maltesanti murder was the craziest one because mm -hmm. the way he did it was just like, Jesus, yeah. he's so ruthless. But it kind of also made sense. I mean, from his perspective, if he would have let him keep going, he would have ended up, he could have killed his own kid. That's the part because he glances back and he sees the branch in the baby seat. And he knows that Christopher, he admits to him right then, I'm on drugs, I'm on a pop. You need to say you're driving. Yeah. Which is their ongoing thing for yeah. seasons is you've yeah. got to get off the drugs. Yeah. And so, I mean, shocking as all hell for us viewers at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. You know the other one? Those were, was it Pauly that killed his girlfriend? Who killed his girlfriend? Who's, Remember in the end when they went chasing after him in the woods? You fucking cunt. And he's like, he's going to kill her with a gun. And she realizes he's going to kill her. Oh, yeah, yeah, And she yeah. runs. Yeah. And he murders her. That was Silvio, Silvio, that's who right. plays guitar for Bruce Springsteen's yeah. band. But yeah, she never saw it coming. That was so creepy. Yeah, that's that creepy. So creepy. Cause that's real, like insider. You've known that's... that lady your whole life. Yep. You know that lady your whole life. Now you're chasing her with a pistol, calling her a cunt. Yep. And you're gonna kill her, and she realizes you're gonna kill her, and she's screaming. 
in, in that world, if you talk to the government, you know, especially back then, it's it's cold. It's just as cold as ice. It's the one thing you can't do. So what all their friendship. Show. Yeah. What a fucking show. Oh, it's incredible. And every fucking episode is better than literally almost anything else out there. That's mm. the crazy part. Is it's just I ha- I can't stop rewatching it. It's just the funniest ongoing game on my fucking my bedroom television thinks I'm a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's one of those shows that, like, then we realize what's possible. So it raises the bar for everybody else. 